Hi, my name is Helena, and I'm going to talk to you today about Hermia organ dosimetry. So we have loaded here a case after a lutetium dotatate treatment. We have a series of whole body images. So we can see here we've got day zero, ant and post, day one, ant and post, and we also have day three and day five as well. And we have a spect that was acquired on day one. We don't have to have this set, we can have just whole bodies, we can have just specs, uh, or the combination like here. So it's really flexible uh, for, for input data. So to work through the dosimetry processing, we first start off down the side here. So we can zoom if we want to, zoom up or down, and pan is the next option, moving the images around. This next button lines up the whole bodies. So I'm gonna click this one, and then the application will automatically try to realign these whole bodies to make them all on the same level. This is going to be useful later. The next thing to do is draw the regions. So I already have some regions defined uh, on this scan. These are ones that normally you would have to define for yourself, but they are predefined to make this demo a little bit quicker. Uh, but they're really easy to do. We have an interpolation tool to help with these multiple slice regions. So this tool offers you to draw all of the regions that are possible to draw uh, for the Olinda models. So this application works with the Olinda EXM software. Basically, it prepares the input for Olinda to be able to make it, well, for, you can take the imaging data and then you can easily work out the residence time that is needed for the calculation in Olinda. Normally, that would be a spreadsheet calculation and it would be quite fiddly and long and difficult and this makes that all much easier. So let's choose from the list. You don't have to draw all of these, you only have to draw the ones that you are interested in knowing the dose for. So I'm going to start with the liver. You can choose the time point on which the liver is best visualized to draw this. So I'm going to use this one, just clicking and dragging here to make the outline of the liver. Uh, next, let's go for the spleen. So I select the spleen from the list, move that across, window that down a bit to make it easier to see, click and drag for the outline of the spleen. And now let's go for the kidneys. So let's do the left kidney and the right kidney. So I'm just going to use this time point for the left kidney and then move on for the right kidney. Okay, the last region I'm going to put down is the total body region. So Olinda, the models in Olinda, the MERD model has the concept of the remainder organ. So basically it takes whatever has not been assigned to one of the organs in the model and takes that as the sort of uniform irradiation of the, of the whole body. So I'm going to make that region for it as well. Using this really nice seed tool, uh, we can get this easy outline of the whole body. So I just click and drag to the edge here and it really nicely defines that, that whole patient, also avoiding the standard this patient has been scanned with. Uh, okay, so we've got at least one copy of each of the regions of interest. Now I'm gonna hit this button and that's gonna copy all of those regions across to the other time points. So this is where we make use of the lining up that we did earlier of the whole bodies. And this is a really nice time-saving tool as well so that you don't have to go around each of these and draw them individually on each one. So we can see the regions now on these first two. They look pretty good. Let's have a look at the next two time points. Maybe we need to make a few changes here. Let's take a look. We can just move them region by region if we want. So this liver, if we just do a right click, move Roy, then we can just grab it and uh, replace it as we want. There's a small pause while the application updates the partner region over there. Or if for some reason the whole patient is just slightly off, we can do a right click, move all ROIs, then the whole set will come with you. And then you can just click to place it down again. And again, that will be mirrored onto the um, opposing view. So when you're happy with your regions, we can go on to calculate the dose. So choose this next button and here I set up the calculation for Olinda. So we can choose, we have here all of the possibilities of models in the Olinda EXM tool. 
Uh, so let's choose the adult female for this case. We have an enormous list of possible radionuclides that you might want to choose. So lutetium-177 has been detected in the header of this data in the DICOM information that's been pre-populated here. We can say how much was injected. So let's say that was 7.4 gigs again. Let's type that in. And let's say we had 100 megabec of residual uh, for this case. There's many ways of doing the calibration uh, in this application. One of them is to say to use the first whole body. So basically to say that this activity that we've injected, that's entirely present in that first imaging time point. So the application then equates the geometric mean counts in that uh, total body uh, to what was injected. But there could be a problem there. Maybe the patient didn't get onto the camera quickly enough. Maybe they had to void first. Um, if that's the case, you can measure or make an estimate of the voided activity and type it in here for the application to subtract that off of the injected activity before making that calibration. Uh, we also have options, so you can use a predetermined calibration factor. Uh, so the most accurate way of doing it is using a, a calibrated SPECT, so a quantitative SPECT scan, uh, either SUV SPECTs out of the Hermes reconstruction package or directly from your scanner if your scanner is able to do those kind of reconstructions for SPECT. Or in fact, you can just type it in directly as well here, so really flexible options. We also have the possibility to um, set some recovery coefficients for different organs if you know them. You can also say that lesions, you can draw the lesions. Uh, we use the sphere model to, uh, to model the dose to lesions. And then you can take that out of a particular organ if there's uh, a tumor in the liver, for example, you could remove that. And in that way, calculate the correct healthy liver dose. It's also possible to scale the organ masses in fact, the application is doing that automatically in this case because we do have the CT, so we have regions uh, that we know correspond uh, to, to those organs, and therefore it's calculating from the volume of these regions what their mass will be and just overwriting the information already there with this. Okay, let's go on to do the fitting. So at this point, we are looking at the change uh, over time of the activity in the left kidney. So we're seeing two lines. We're seeing a red line, which is the original points from this whole body sequence. So in this way, we're taking the kinetic information from the whole body, but then scaling it. So we see this pink dot. You can just see the pink dot there is scaling it to the spect. So if we have that quantitative spect, we can know exactly how much activity was present at that time and then just scale it according to the relative counts in these different uh, whole body time points. So the task at this stage is to fit. We can choose a bi-exponential or an exponential fit. Obviously in this case, the uh, bi-exponential works a lot better. And um, also we can change the fit frame as well. So we can just take out that first one and, and uh, focus only on the last few frames um, as you wish. Let's, so it's just a case of choosing the kind of the best, best fit at this stage. We have to move through each of these regions before it will allow us to click OK to move on. So just making sure that the fit looks good for each of these. You can change the fit or the fit frame as, as you need to. Okay, that looks good. At this point, we've done all of the necessary prep work. And the last step is just to send that information to Olinda. So that's this button here, results. So then the application calculates the residence time. So it uses those fits calculates the area under the curve there, which is the residence time. That's what Olinda needs to do the dose simulation with the model that we specified. And then the results come back into the screen. So we're looking at a screenshot of our processing, the uptake curves that we clicked through this time on a logarithmic scale, the uptakes in terms of a results table, the fit parameters from our bi-exponential fit and the calculated residence time that came out with for the simulation. And now the dose, so we get the dose to, to all of the organs. So even though we only defined, um, I think, four, so the kidneys, the liver, and the spleen, you get an output for every single organ because in the MERD model, as soon as you populate one organ with activity, uh, you will calculate a cross factor to all of the rest. Uh, but for us, for interest, so let's look at the, the kidney line here. Uh, we can see the contribution to the kidney dose in terms of uh, the, the alpha component of radiation, so for lutetium, that's nothing. So we've got, got nothing in this column. 
and the beta component, so the electrons, gamma component, photons, and then total. This column is in milligray. So we can look for the kidneys to here. We're calculating uh, about 0.9 gray or 880 uh, milligray to the kidneys uh, for this treatment. Uh, got a bit more information here about the kinetics as well that are saved out from the simulation. The last step, so we can take some print screens. So the application has made these prints of those steps that we just looked at, uh, also created as a text file of the results and also the case file for Olinda in case you want to redo the simulation, but just from the Olinda portion. Thank you for watching this video and for your interest in Hermia software.